So I've got the broadside basically most of the pieces assembled. So I'm to the point where I wanted to stop so I could do magnetizing of some certain joints, uh, especially the torso uh, to the hip joint. Uh, my buddy told me definitely do that for a lot of reasons, if anything, just for simple storage after a game. Uh, so I've already gone ahead and drilled holes out to hold the one by three millimeter magnets uh, that I've been using most of the time. Mixing up some green stuff just to kind of pack behind the hole so the magnet can't sink too deep. A little bit of glue, uh, and I'll drop those in and let them set up. Um, then I'm going to have to figure out how to do these shoulder balls, uh, ball sockets. Um, I've seen videos where they cut them completely off and then put green stuff on the inside. Um, I think my magnets are good enough that I might be able to just embed them inside there and then embed them inside here and it'll work. Um, so I think I'm going to try that on one side and if it works, cool. If not, I can chop it off and do it the way that like uh, Mini Girls video does. Uh, so uh, we'll do a little bit of work and come back and look at the results. Things are going pretty good. I still haven't tackled the arm sockets, but I have the base in for the torso and the hips. I went ahead and did get the legs glued onto the hips, not onto the base. Um, this should be reasonable enough now to at least, whoops, this of course back heavy at the moment. And pops apart, so that's good. I've got one side glued on with the magnets. Um, that may be bad. So I have those backwards. We sure do. Well, it looks like I'll be digging a magnet out. Well, that's okay. I was a little displeased with this one side, anyhow. So I got as far as getting a head, two different heads, magnetized to go in there so I can paint them two different colors. Um, got all the shoulder mount weapons magnetized. I didn't have the sensor or rays or whatever done yet, but all the other pieces and swappable to either side. This one's a little wonky, but anyhow, uh, still got to figure out how I'm going to do the shoulder mounts uh, for the arms. I think I am going to go ahead and try to bury one of these in and then see if this doesn't just rest. Oh, so perfectly, hopefully. And uh, probably then, if that's the case, put a magnet in here and one inside the rail gun to help that snug up a little bit. We'll see.